Okay, since last time we profiled, and I'll show you the tools that I used. A nice level. Files. Angle grinder. And this is a cool sin, a metal scraper that my friend Brent Finnegan made for me. You can use that. And my cheapy barnyard bladesmith uh, belt grinder. Whatever works. I cut the end off. I'm going to use this as a coupon. It will be with the blade from now on for every heat treatment. That way you can tell what you have. By the way, a quick note on forging 4340. It's basically air hardening. When I busted this off, the grain was ultra fine and I hadn't normalized it yet, which meant that it hardened as I as it cooled off, which is very important because you don't want to mess around outside the forging temps with this type of steel. Because if you cold work it like that, when it hardens, it'll it'll just shatter. Okay, now the fuller. I make my fullers by hand with whatever equipment I got. I always freehand them. This is a routing tool for a Dremel. Um, this is what I use. I basically start the fuller. I eyeball it, pull it through. I use a round stone. You can use a mark, a line, or whatever. Yeah, it works pretty good, and you can correct it by hand. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, hand grinding the fuller. I just use a little Dremel tool. I got 20 years experience hand finish, so it's fairly easy for me. But I just eyeball it and use use good control. Here's how it works. You want to tip you want to tip the abrasive so you get a good elliptical fuller rather than a round fuller. I like I prefer elliptical fullers. But if you want a round fuller, you would just keep it uh, parallel to the blade. Okay, this is a cross guard. We're getting back to the lost wax part of it. Uh, I roughed it out. Make sure you leave material for final fit and finish for your sword so it'll well, everything will go together. I just use this little carbide burr that's kind of worn out and used. It works fine for this. 